What is cooking, my Wad Doppelgangers? It is Dakrim Wildy with another episode of Bug Fables! And we. Last time, I don't even. Actually, we did quests last time, I think, right? We did some quests uh, after starting Chapter 5. Now, uh, I've got another quest to do, actually. And. Okay, I, this probably isn't even faster to go to this person at this point, but. Whatever. Oh yeah, also... Okay. Let's go down here. And then... Let's go down here. And... Give it back! Pop Punk? I have no idea how to say this. Eofi's mask! The leaf mask you stole. We put that in the vault long ago. Even if we didn't, we're not gonna give it back. Yeah, punk, what you gonna do about it? Huh? I, uh, I'll beat you up. I really do it. <laughs> you gonna fight us, punk? Gonna hit us with your shaking legs? You ain't getting that mask back, worm. Just forget about it. I really can't do it. I'll never get back his mask like this. I'm gonna have to... Ask for help! So yeah, you have to, uh... Witness that in this kind of... I don't know, like, what's the point of really going to that... Like, location? You know what I mean? Like, there's not really any point in going to that location, cause... Uh... Unless you're going to Bulgaria Pier, but like, where, where, what are you going to there for? Um, anyways. Grr, some bandits took my friend's mask. I, uh, I really tried to fight them, but they're too strong. I need some backup. I really tried to fight, fight them. I like how he says, uh, in his, like, in his board request. Like, he's not trying to... I don't know. It's just like, why would you write down, uh... I just need some backup. Can someone meet me in the Ant Kingdom residential area? Yes, I can. Am I fully healed? I am. Are my medals, like, good? I don't think they are. We got two power exchanges. I kind of forgot. It's pretty nuts. We'll just equip this. For now, I guess. Uh, oh, he said resident. I, I mean, if I'm on this side, I might as well just go over here. Get, get your booty, big booty out of the way. Alright, um, where are you? Oh yeah, you should be in here. Who are you guys? Team Snake Mouth, ready to work. Are you explorers? You saw my post? You could say that. Could you tell us all you know? Sure. Look, it's super simple. The bandits stole my friend's mask. They've got to be at their hideout. But I can't beat them alone. I need your backup. Wait, uh, you're going? Yes, I can't run from this. Do you have an explorer permit? No. You should probably stay behind then. I refuse. Besides, if they see me with you, they'll just think you're escorting me. Please, I can fight. I'm just really shy. Such thirst for justice. You can't seriously be falling for that. Come with us, brave lad, but stay behind our formation. Oh boy. Alright, let's go to the hideout then. Alright, well, we got Mun with us. Very interesting character, to say the least. Alright. Uh. Alright, I guess we go this way. I'll save. <laughs> okay, I was about to be super angry if I couldn't run over that gap. Um, I have no idea where this guy's shit is, honestly. I feel like maybe, maybe the mask. It, oh, didn't they say that like all the important stuff is in, is stored in that one room? So I just need to find that one room. And I think it's right up here. 
All right. Found the room. Uh, that cut off at a very bad time. Boy, I hope you're ready to pay. What, you followed us, punk? And he's got help with him. Think we're scared because you're not alone? You're only brave when you pick on others. This is fair game. Shut up! Aren't those the ones that fought the boss? That's perfect. We'll beat these punks and get a reward. Your boss will be most disappointed in you, I'm sure. You sure about that one, Kabu? Whatever, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'm enjoying myself a little too much. I just love the energy here. Uh, all right, we got some, some, uh, some boys right here, and, uh, I guess, let's, twerking doesn't even, like, worth it? Is it even worth it, though? Sure, why not? Hurricane Toss gotta be one of the easiest action commands ever, you get so much time. Alright, we wanna kill this guy in one turn for sure. Uh, and then, we can kill this guy, and then V can do one damage to this guy, and Champion can do three damage, bang! And you can do one damage. Oh, okay. Back support. And we super block. Like a beast. Um. I'm gonna heavy strike you. I could have understriked, you know. Understricken. But we're just gonna. I just wanna focus the burglar, because obviously he's the more dangerous guy. This is just common knowledge. Uh. We'd only do five damage and then we could kill it, I guess. But like, he's gonna be frozen for another turn, so. I don't know, like, who really cares, you know? Oh! <gasps> no way! Mom got the kill! Good shit, Mom! Okay. I think Kylo can kill you right now. And that's that battle over with. <laughs> ah ha! Toya! I don't know if that's a reference to Fox, but uh, from, in, like in Smash Bros. Not from Smash Bros, in Super Smash Bros. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, we did it! We beat him up! Er. <laughs> Yes, we couldn't have done it without you, Bray Flat. He's amazed that he beat them up. Punk. That was awesome, we did it! Yep. I'm gonna go tell Yofi I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, the reward! Do you really? Yes, this was a tough one. Not really. If you really want one, guess you can go ask him back in town. I don't know why this was rated a three star. Uh, a three star mission like that was really making me like second guess myself like oh gosh is this actually difficult I don't remember because this is just not a super memorable mission like I had to look at my notes to remember to do this because I mean it's just so weird to like trigger it you know and here we are Hey, look at these guys. And then I was like, Toria, seriously? Here, I got your mask back. Mun, thank you, but you could have gotten hurt. It's alright, everything turned out fine. Hey, glad you two seem fine. These are friends that gave me courage. You did excellent, Mun. You, uh, forgot the reward, though. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get it. I was so cool, though. Thanks, I was really surprised to see you got it back. It was no problem, don't tell Mun, but I sat down and made a new mask. I figured if he saw I didn't need one, he'd stop fighting the bandits. I should have trusted him a bit more. No one's gonna blame you, seriously. 
Please take it. It'll be our secret, all right? Leaf Cloak Medal. And he's got a reward for us. Here, my berry stash. 20 berries. Oh, baby, a double. Uh, er, double of 10 is 20? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good day. I still have to practice more, so something like this won't happen again. And he's all scared again. I'll take better care of my stuff. Can't have Mun risking himself again. Leaves can grow in such pretty patterns. What a cute mask. And they never grow exactly the same. He's lucky. It makes every mask more valuable too. So is he like a special type of like species or something? Uh, Mun's truly grown thanks to his ordeal. We kind of did everything, but... Mun did more than you gave him credit for, and thankfully he came out unarmed. Yeah, he killed one of the guys! I mean, that was pretty impressive. Like, he, he was all like, Hoya! I mean, he, 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 he's, he's not wrong. He did do something. He did give us some nice chip damage, and he even got a kill, so... I'm pretty proud of the man. Uh... Anyways, that's that quest. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, what is Leaf Cloak? Uh, Leaf Cloak, basically, you equip it to someone, it's two metal points, and they are targeted less, meaning, uh, I don't know exactly what it sounds like, I don't know, like, they're just targeted less. This is good if... It's, it's not, it's not a good, it's not a really good metal, you know, you don't, love to rely on RNG. That's why things like Status Booster aren't a very good metal. Because you don't really want to rely on RNG uh, too much when you play this game. But, uh... You know, it can be decent. I mean, you have a pretty low chance if you're in the back or in the middle to get targeted. But if you're in the front, uh, I mean, you still have a chance to get targeted, you know. But, like, a smaller chance. I don't know the exact stats, but... Like, it's it's okay. It's good if you got, like, a really frail guy. Like, a really frail attacker or something. But, usually... You want your attacker to be in the front. But, it's kind of hard to do that. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, anyways... We've got other stuff to do. Okay, guys, so I wanted to highlight that in the ant mines, now we can... This, uh, mysterious ant person who was able to teleport us around to the, uh, ant plaza. Once you go back to Snake Mouth Den, uh, with the dig ability, that is, you can pay five berries to teleport here. And, believe it or not, Snake Mouth Den is where we want to go. Because if you remember, Neo... Neo talked about how... This gem that we got from the Watcher might be related to um, Snake Mouth, and or might be related to Leaf and uh, Snake Mouth. So here we go into Snake Mouth Den. But where do we go? You might be asking. Well, if you guys remember. I don't know if you guys actually do remember, but there was this puzzle, and then there was this mushroom, and then we grabbed it, and we fell down that hole. But now, this door opened after we finished that puzzle, but we were never able to go through. But now, we're here. Seriously? A door behind the door? Whatever it is in here, the roaches sure wanted to keep it hidden. Put the peculiar gem in, and it reacts. Neil yeah, was right. This place must hold clues to your past, Leaf. Always oh, feeling magic. Uh, yep. Ready to go in? Is that a yes? Rick? Isn't this lasting for way too long? Sorry, you're not wrong. This place is intense. Let's prepare properly. A place of well guarded a place this well guarded must have its own set of dangers. Hopefully treasure too. What matters is finally finding our answers. 
I'm amazed I was able to like read that. Uh, I don't know why I'm hitting the save crystal. I I need a whoa. This music. I'm starting to worry. Okay. Okay. We got weird guys. Weird guys alert. A bee and a beetle is in this place. Okay, he's speaking the ancient tongue now. If you get them, that language is it. They won't listen. Ready up. Oh, right, we got two new enemies here. I still got first plating on. Oh, I switched it back on. Zombie and Zombeetle. I mean, these are as good of names as you get. Much better than Zombie Ant. I'm just realizing we're out. Okay, whatever. This is not right. This feeling is focus. We'll just freeze everything on the path to the truth. Uh, Leaf is uh, effective versus these guys. By the way. Um, anyways. Cabo, you can spy the Zombeetle. The Zombeetle is very dangerous. What a tragedy to see a fellow beetle befall this fate. Its, car its carapace is absurdly tough. Leaf, support me as I strike it. I, I don't know if I said that right. But, whatever. Anyways, we need to get rid of the zombie beetle. This guy is a threat. And he has uh, two AoE attacks. And both of them hurt. Uh, especially if you're bad at blocking. But we get a freeze. And he's weak to it. So that's good. Yeah, the bee zombie uh, does not play nice either. Um, mm, sucks, man. It really does. These enemies do not play around at all. And we kill the zombie. This guy breaks out. Now we can. Probably kill it with the heavy strike stuff this turn. Because we're going to do 5 damage. And then we can do 2. 7. Yeah, we can kill it this turn. I think. I hope so. Leaf can do s this. And then relay to Kabu. And the zombie beetle is dead, and we come out pretty much on top. We're gonna level up soon, so I will fight some more of these guys, I guess. This is wrong. It feels way wrong. What could this mean? Why can we understand them? Don't jump to any conclusions. We, we must delve deeper and find the truth. Right, let's move on. That's a super huge gap. Even if I carried you, I doubt we'd make it. Mm-hmm. We have an idea. Nice! Er, is it safe? They'll probably melt out. We'll have to be quick. Not a problem. Leaf can now create icicles. Press P twice to create an icicle that will fall downwards. Leaf can also now use the most broken skill in the game. Ice rain! Yippee! If you want, you can just dip out of here after getting ice rain. Because that in itself is a grand reward uh, and I can show you what I mean later in battle um, go fuck off with that shit that is a piece of penis dicks okay sorry I'm, I'm just saying like that was stupid right like you can't look at that and tell me that that was fair okay that was close Alright, we're gonna be safe! Yay! Oh gosh, get out of my way. Okay. Alright. Oh! We are in chapter 5 now. And there's a different battle music! Which is really cool! And it kinda slaps. And I kinda want you guys to listen.
That was dumb. Oh, this part slaps. Yeah, so this song kind of is a jam. Uh, oh. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so bloat shrooms are... I don't know, they're pretty... They're decently threatening. And they can actually heal, uh, other... Other, like, zombie guys if they're, uh... You know, in battle with them. Now, Nerd, just stay out. This is your first and final warning. Okay, sounds like an invitation for me to come in. We can use our icicle to hit the switch that we would not be able to hit normally. Now, let's get a move on. Logbook updated. So, I think we got a discovery. Mm 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 mm. Now we get a save, and this really- this is like one of the coolest save crystals. I mean, just like, because it's actually got like, this thing surrounding it, you know? Even though these crystals preserve data, that is not true immortality, is it? We can't latch onto the sapling anymore. We must find a way to become eternal on our own. These crystals store incredible amounts of data. We can study subjects even if they expire. Well, that's certainly interesting. Alright, well, I don't know if I've spied every enemy here. I'm trying to think if there's any other enemies. Uh, we're getting pretty close to a level up, so I mean, I might as well. Yikes! This blows! Oh my gosh. Mm. I mean, this is a yikes battle. Are you seeing all these guys? Uh... Okay. Bridget Coffin, I guess. Boom. Bam. Alright. Uh, so now that guy's frozen. But the good thing is that these guys are very susceptible to freezes. Because they're weak to ice. I think the leaf will actually do one damage here. Which is cool. And uh, the zombie is the main threat. Although... Yeah! And see how that he that guy heals them when he does that attack? It's stupid. It's actually dumb. Cause now what the heck am I gonna do? I guess I'm gonna... Frigid Coffin again, cause... Uh, it's my cheapest form of damage on this guy, and we refroze him, wow. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I can kill you with V. Yes. Zombito is dead. Uh... Nice. Nice. Okay. I think we might level up from this battle. And you're dead. And you're dead. And we're gonna do nothing. And we're gonna do nothing. And we're gonna attack. Attack! Attack! 
attack. And we win. That was a toughie. Had to use a lot of TP there. But, we leveled up pretty comfortably. And I want you guys to guess what we're leveling up this time. Battle points. <laughs> oh! I completely skipped it, but it said Kabu and Frozen Drill. And, and, and Leaf. Kabu and Leaf learned Frozen Drill. Uh, which you might be asking, well, what the hell, why is it Kabu and Leaf? Because we have not been exposed to any thingamabobbers. Uh, what does this do? Okay, I guess. Uh, anyways, I think we gotta do this, and then come up here. We're just gonna avoid that guy altogether. Leaf and Champion are just chilling down there, I guess. Oh, they're back. Uh, anyways. Uh, can I, like, knock you off this ledge? I doubt I can. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I did actually. Actually succeeded. I didn't think I could, to be honest, because I was like, that would be kind of uh, silly, wouldn't it? Kind of silly and goofy goober like, but maybe respond. Okay. Um, so that switch right there is actually so that you can hit this. Come on, come back. You penis head. Alright. Uh, let's get ready here. No, go, 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 you fuckhead. Okay, I got it, I got it. This is kind of a... Can you go, please? Okay. This is kind of tricky. But then I, I'm just gonna send it, I guess. <laughs> nice. I honestly had no idea where the switch was. Uh, can we, I think, oh, okay. We'll just get you out of this, get you out of our way. Lab card! This card provides clearance to enter rooms in Snake Mouth Lab. This is my last message. It isn't safe anywhere but here. We were proud and reckless. Food will not last long to think it'd end like this. This room makes us a bit nostalgic with the platforms going up and down. Climbing hills, trees, castles. We just kept... We just keep going up, huh? I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what he meant either, to be honest, so... I'm here with you, V. Oh, okay. Save up real quick as we just got a lab card. We got a ton of lab cards to grab around here. Um, mm -mm -mm. is there anything down here? Okay. Okay. Ah, it's a zombie ant from chapter one. <laughs> Subject ZB43 is displaying disturbing behavior. I'll go check it out personally. Oh, gosh. Uh, doesn't look like we can get up here. But this is kind of cool. You, like, ride the icicle down the flowing water. Okay, we got that beamerang. We just gotta wait for a really long time. I don't. Yeah, there's nothing down that way. I'm sure. Oh, that guy's got the lab card on him. The bastard. All right. Okay, it's just one zombie. I was ready for a full-blown fight. The champion is the goat. Yeah, leaf's freezes. Gotta use those here. Lab card! 
We can't feel our legs. Well, that's cool. Anyways. Diggy, diggy, diggy. I can't go anywhere over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, we just pop out right here. Well, that's cool, I guess. I guess, how else would you get back, to be honest? Oh, come on. Piss off. I don't have... Oh, I do have secure pouch on. I came prepared this time, bitch. Every time I didn't have secure pouch on has led up to this moment. Where I finally had secure pouch on. Might as well have quick flea on, because I'm not using any other metals. Kidding me? I guess I'll have spiky bot on. I mean, you know, I could put other badges on, but like, what's even the point? Ooh, okay. That was a tight jump. Uh, put a lab card in. And the way opens up. Now, what the heck is up with this? Uh,. I can tell that's the mushroom enemy. Like, you know that's the mushroom enemy. Ah. Oh. Alright, the guys, is it turned on? I'm dead, I guess. This is a sad day. But I think we gotta use Icicle Rain, because I don't think it can... Definitely can't hit these, I can tell you that much. This is really cool, actually. really like to see uh, how they use Icicle Rain in these puzzles, because they're really kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, piss off. Please don't tell me I... Okay, thank you. And I think we can just make this jump, yeah. Big gear. Alright, goodbye. Or wait, is there a way out of here? I'm glad I checked, because usually they think of this sort of thing. Usually you don't have to go through this whole ordeal again. That would be kind of annoying. Let's go down here now. Oh, fuck off. These guys scare me. Uh, the test subject's damage to the power core, so we've got to rely on the backup generator. Make sure to direct power to the pipes. Okay. Noted. There is a asshole zombie beetle in this room who's probably gonna make our life hell. So we should probably just fight him. Make our lives a little bit easier. But this is so stupid. But what's the point? Let's just finish this. We're chillin'. Good XP. You know, like, I could really fight all these guys and get super jacked, but what's the point? Alright, we got a puzzle here. So basically, it works kinda like, uh, in that one... I don't know, in that one room. Uh, in the... Factory. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do that. Okay. And that. Oh. That. Pretty simple puzzle. You just gotta get all the uh, blue thingy boys on the... On the pipes. Although, actually, I... I kinda reg I kinda regret saying pretty simple puzzle because... Oh, my first playthrough, it was not simple. <laughs> but once I understand it, you know, it's pretty simple. Hmm. No crystals and bioorganism. Oh, through crystals and bioorganisms, we've channeled frost and blight magic. If we could create thunder spells as well, it would bolster our productivity. The test subject sure caused the roaches a lot of trouble. The roaches caused the subjects a lot of trouble too, even so they refused to stop their research. Yeah, it's interesting. 
Why were they so interested? Hey, so this video is a little bit too long, so we're going to be cutting it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.